Holidays. Everybody's off work, so they come to your house. I mean, it's fantastic. You want to go out and get a drink? Sure, why not? You want to go out to dinner? Yeah. You want to come over? Sure. It's the best time of year. So I'm going to show you a recipe for cookies that you put in the icebox, and then when people come over, the boy comes over and you go, oh, yes, it's so good to see you. I was just going to make some cookies. And you slice off cookie rounds and you bake them on demand. You might wonder why I have this Band-Aid here. Like I always tell you guys, see your dermatologist. I had another thing cut off like Hugh Jackman. But keep on this, guys. It's covered by insurance. Go once a year at least, okay? Promise me you'll do it. Okay, this couldn't be simpler. There's gonna be a moment when you kind of sort of panic, but I'm gonna walk you through it, okay? Basically, uh, you use a food processor. So if you don't have a food processor, I'm not sure how you would how you would do it. But anyway, you take um, about three quarters of a cup of Dutch processed cocoa. Now, what's the difference between Dutch process and regular cocoa? Dutch process is, al is alkaline or something like that. And I think it has sugar, but it's, it is different, okay? And uh, unprocessed or natural cocoa, it doesn't have any, oh, some science thing. But anyway, follow the recipe. Um, however, I ran out of Dutch process, so I'm using half Dutch, half normal. It's gonna be fine, all right? Then you're gonna take a cup and a half of regular flour, and you're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of soda. Please store your baking soda and your other leavener, like um, uh, powder, baking powder, in an airtight container. Do not use the one from the refrigerator. It will not work. It's been completely uh, de denatured by the air. So I keep mine here. And if you don't use it for eight months or so, six to eight months, throw it out and buy a new, a new uh, container. That's why your stuff isn't rising, by the way, if it's not rising. Um, okay, we're gonna put this in here with the cocoa. And we're making chocolate cookies, so we want a little salt because salt is the bomb with chocolate. So I'm using a little bit of salt, a couple pinches of salt. And I'm gonna use a cup of sugar. I'm using Baker's sugar, which is in between castor and normal. Normal sugar is totally fine. They want you to use a cup and two tablespoons. I find that kind of irritating. I happen to have the thing right here, otherwise I would just eyeball it. We're just gonna pulse this uh, to mix, mix the powders together. Put your hand over the hole. So the actress to the vision. Pulse it. Okay. Then we're going to add a, um, a stick and three quarters softened butter. I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to do it, but I really don't care. So there you go. And I think it's three tablespoons of milk. Here's one, two, three. I'm going to run this and it's going to turn into a dough. Oh my God, I messed up the cookies. What am I gonna do? Oh my God, I messed up the cookies. Right, Leonard? Oh my God, it's turning into a dough. How amazing is this? Watch it, here it goes. So if it does that, you're gonna open it and feel it. It feels, feels like dough, okay? I'm picking up half of this and I'm moving it to the other side. It's perfect, by the way. Come on, here you go, here it goes. Okay, there you go. Now it's a dough. So what you wanna do is take a sheet of Saran wrap. Don't cut it. You're gonna take half of this dough in your hand, like this. And you're gonna sort of half make it into a log. You're gonna put it down here like this. You're gonna take this and fold it like this. Don't tuck it under, saran wrap to saran wrap. All right, and then you're gonna go like this. And now you're gonna cut the saran wrap. What you're trying to do is to make this look like a big turd, okay? So you wanna make it like this. I do it like this. It's 
going to go in the fridge like that so that its own weight makes it more of a cylinder. See that? It's like a beautiful elephant turd. We're going to put this in the fridge like this. So you want to do it like that. See? It can stay in the fridge for weeks, really. Uh, then you can freeze it if you want. This is really big. These are going to make big cookies. I've never done one this big before, said the actress to the bishop. Fold over saran to saran. Don't tuck it under. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to pat it into submission. This is basically chocolate cookies on demand. Hello. The boy or the girl is here. Oh, yes, I'm having a fantastic holiday season. I hope you're enjoying all the twinkling lights of New York City. Oh, you'd like some cookies? No problem. You go to the refrigerator, you take out your pre-chilled elephant turd with a hat on. Now it looks like an elephant's trunk. Word to the wise. The more you cut it, the more it's going to smush down on one side. So cut it quick, okay? And as you cut, rotate it so that you never get one side that's flatter than the others. I mean, how amazing is this? If they're not totally uniform, who cares? This can now be rewrapped and put back in the refrigerator for other boys and girls who might want cookies. They're so good and they're so easy and it's so charming to have cookies for people. Why, why not do it? Why not try it? It's really easy. Oh, I'm just gonna bake these cookies for you. Yes, these glasses do conceal my steamy inner being. So these go in um, 350 oven for some amount of time, which I'll tell you in a minute. I think it's 12 minutes, 15 minutes, I can't remember. But these go in, always smile. <laughs> Um, I don't know how long these took to make, I forget. But basically they kind of puff up slightly and then when they deflate, that's when you take them out. I would say it's 12, 12 to 15 minutes. And look at this, beautiful cookies. I know somebody who likes cookies and his name is Hightow Wu. Would you like a cookie, Hightow? Hightow is our second camera and he's been with us from the very beginning. Mr. Hightow Wu, ladies and gentlemen. Is this good? Get out of here. <laughs> what you're trying to do is to make this look like a big turd.